All right, get your two webcams ready, get your OBS software installed, and let's go. Now, I've already got some cams set up, obviously, or you wouldn't be able to see me, but here's how you set up the camera. Go to Video Capture Device, Create New, and then you have, in my case, I have the Aki PC LM1E camera, and then I've got the same camera, but as you can see, the computer names it two different things, so I've got the two cameras. And you would pick whatever your camera is and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And of course, I've got the two cameras. And one is on top of the other. Cam 2 is on the top. Whatever's on the top is on the top. So that's Cam 2. Right behind it is Cam 1. As you can see, there are different kinds of tones, and that I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment. First thing we got to do is we have to put a transparency on one of the cameras so that we can line up the 3D. So you go to Effects, Add, Color Correction, and right here on Opacity, go to about 50, 45, whatever. And as you can see, you can see both cameras. Now, they're very uneven, especially the vertical, so we're going to fix that. Okay, as you can see the ceiling up there, we're going to have to line that up. Quite a bit here. The vertical is very important when you're talking about 3D. That's what makes people have headaches. Gotta make sure that's good. Now we got to do some horizontal and you're going to try to get your face on both cameras to match correctly. Make sure that vertical is good still. These Aki cameras can be moved pretty much in sort of like it's almost a 360 type thing, you know, it can move, it pivots all kinds of ways, ups and downs and sideways and diagonal and all that stuff. Now, as you see, as I back up, I get further, you know, it spreads out. And as I put my hand closer, it spreads out. That's exactly how 3D works, the two different differences in eyes. Now, uh, I'm going to put my hand right about where I'm going to stand, and then I'm going to Make sure the camera is set to that. So that when I get back over there, it should be right about. Whoop. Right about. <laughs> I should have really tightened it up on the tripod. By the way, I'm using a uh, flash adapter type thing that will allow me to have both cameras on there. It's just basically. It's a thing you can mount on your tripod and also have a flash next to your camera. And you can get it at Amazon or eBay or s somewhere online, I'm sure. Okay, so now as I'm standing back, I'm pretty well lined up horizontally. Maybe, maybe I could be a little closer. Obviously, the vertical has gone awry. So I'm going to put my hand right there. And move the vertical just a little bit on one of the cameras. In just one or both the cameras, if you want. I'm going to try to put that lined up almost exactly. Got to have a little bit of difference, but not much. I'm concerned about that vertical. Okay, now as I step back, aha! The vertical has matched up. I've got a tiny bit of horizontal difference and that's good most of most of my faces lined up correctly oh, correctly <laughs> but there's a little bit of difference so that's good all right now we're going to put them side by side and then we're going to test them in 3d to put them side by side it's quite easy go to your transform edit transform and then you do half of whatever your resolution is. So 960 would be half of the 1920. Oh, also you have to put this to stretch to bounds so that it'll stretch out. 
and then I'm gonna leave that at zero and then on this camera go to transform edit transform 960 once again and on this one I'm going to say 960 and then I'll push it over what did I do I, put, I didn't put the 960 here okay there we go and then of course the stretch to balance okay and then on camera two we have to get rid of that filter and just simply click the eye on there and it's sort of like a layer in Photoshop it just turns that layer off turns the color correction off now we will need that color correction later but we're going to turn the opacity up okay so now we're side by side I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see if it's correctly 3D with my 3D TV. So what are you supposed to do if you don't have a 3D TV? Well, you can insert that video that you just made with OBS software into a 3D editing video uh, thing. You know, Vegas can do side-by-side -side 3D and the Adobe video editing software supports side-by-side -side 3D. There are all kinds of softwares that can do that for you. And then you can check it out with your red and blue glasses and everything's fine. Okay, the video is correct for 3D, and speaking of correction, we got to correct this color. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. So on camera one, we've got a lot of whiteness to the, to the color. One way to do it is go to the camera settings, which is right there. When I first got these cameras, I do have to tell you that I think it's because I've got LED light bulbs in here that the frequency of the light bulbs and the lens uh, frequency didn't match up quite right or something and so they had these kind of wavy lines in it and in order to get rid of that I turned the exposure on off of auto like that and then I just kind of fiddled with it as you can see there's nothing really going on with it but then I put it on auto and everything was fine I don't know why it does that but you can try it if you get these kind of cameras and maybe that'll help you out. Okay, we need more contrast, probably. Less brightness. And then you can warm it up by doing a white, uh, a white balance. Don't get it too hot. That looks pretty close. That, that other side, cam two, is a little bit darker in the kind of like a gamma or something there. Now the other way to do it is go to filters. And then you add your color correction. This time you make sure it's 100% and I'll also do that on the other one. And then you can go in here and you can do gamma. Here, let me get it over here where I can see it. You can do contrast and brightness. I think that's about right. You can do some saturation if you want more saturation less saturation whatever you need a hue shift it'll go blue or red or green or whatever and I think that's good for right now and then on the other one as I said whoops we're going to the filter and we're going to turn that back on but we're going to turn the opacity on 100 percent they are very close there's a little bit of difference. Maybe the saturation is a little high on that one. That's pretty close. I'd go with it. <laughs> you could do whatever you need to. Your uh, environment is totally different. Your lighting's going to be different. Your cameras are probably going to be different. Hopefully they're the same ones, but if you have to go with one camera that's a different brand, whatever you need to do. And so I guess that's about it. I'll be showing you later on, because the subject is very complex, how to stop it from having the problems with the key stoning with, you know, you've got angles in the room that are going to be a little off. And, and then, of course, the background's going to be played way off compared to the side by side of whatever your subject is hopefully your face or whatever and the solution is mirrors but that's a very complex subject so that'll be in another video until then have fun and i'll see you in 3d